here is a case of bilateral retained stent normally stents retention will be there for few years but this is 7 years bilateral not even unilateral both the stents forgotten 7 years back right side stent was removed supine PCRL because it was half broken in fact that was more easy to remove the stone whereas left side entire stent got encrusted it looks as if it is normal can be pulled out but once we have gone inside it is so rigid in this CT we can see the encrustations on the left side in the pelvis in the bladder also so the the removal of these stents is a, a little time taking see the encrustations on the stent they won't come out because the lumen of the ureter uh, will not allow it to uh, um, the drop down the upper part of the stent uh, with the stone now while withdrawing with the if, if we, most of the times we try to withdraw the stent out of the urethra put traction and then over the traction the stones will be removed but here it was not possible after repeated about this is membranous urethra repeated attempts were done so after that we realized that it is not coming out easily because it is seven years and dangerous to pull beyond certain level because uretric avulsion can occur. So intermittently we pulled the encrustations with the triprong forceps that helped a lot. That is one of the trick here. Uh, slowly the encrustations are pulled. Large encrustations there is no other way you, you, pneumatic lithotriptor is used. That is also difficult because in the bladder applying pneumatic lithotriptor on a stent floating is very difficult. So patiently, this is more uh, difficult job than PCNL and removing the stones around the stent and then removing that in total. So in the ureter also, repeatedly, these encrustations are removed. After a certain period of time, pneumatic lithotriptor was not, uh, uh, not removing the stones on the stent. So uh, like this, we, have, we applied pneumatic, but it was slipping. Continuously, it moves in the ureter. That causes more time and more uh, uh, loss of patience. So we used at the end uh, laser. Anyway, we have to disconnect this stent uh, in the ureter. But if you disconnect too many pieces, then removal also becomes difficult. Sometimes they may get retained. So only two pieces, one from uh, below, another from above, exactly in the middle. If we do, then chances of success without time is more. So we don't want to make a stent into small, small pieces. Some people do RIRS completely from ureter, uh, making small, small pieces, but it is too much time taking and the ureter may get damaged because of the, uh, the laser heat. So here we have patiently removed all encrustations. At the end, when we have seen lot of lumen around the mid and upper ureter, then we decided that we will break the stent uh, with the uh, uh, homium laser and then it has broken after that uh, we plan for supine PCNL. The other important point we want to focus is here it is almost like ECIRS. The retroscope is in control, water can be flushed, fragments can be removed, at the same time RGP can be injected. So supine PCNL and ECIRS in such cases very helpful. Even opposite side we have done supine PCNL only. Now after cutting the stent and removing, we have injected contrast, we have marked the posterior axillary line, then inferior calyx was not getting delineated, we punctured then the urine has come, then we injected contrast, then it was from the lower calyx properly, so we have dilated the same tract. Even during PCNL, we thought it will come out through the 18 French access sheath, but to our surprise, it, will not, it did not come out. So we have to start again breaking. Like this was the stone inside. We tried to uh, pull out in total. Uh, we thought it will come. Usually it will not come because one or the other large fragment will obstruct the PUJ and it is dangerous to pull like that also. So gentle attempts failed. Then take taken the pneumatic lithotriptor and pneumatic lithotriptor has broken the pieces which were obstructing. By pulling the stent, one advantage is that where the, st where the stone is getting obstructed, we will come to know there we can go and blast like this. This was a segment which was obstructing at the ampla sheath mouth. Uh, so we have broken those uh, uh, into fragments. Uh, so 
this is a case where seven years bilateral stent forgotten. We thought we will share our points of difficulties in this video. So many fragments are there. If you leave any fragment, patient may get sepsis because they are contaminated. Repeated assessment of the upper calyx like this, middle calyx, lower calyx, and both the scopes united almost nearer. Then contrast injected. All the uh, straighten the kidney like this. All the calyces are inspected before coming out. This is a contrast with the outflow stopped at the nephrostomy. Then this is the nephrostomy tube with balloon. And to see any radiopaque shadow, this is the stent removed from the nephrostomy tract. Ultimately, uh, complete clearance of the stone as well as this stent was done. Thank you.